Yeah, just checking, just checking. What a hockey game that was last night. Are you still here? We got the NBA Finals. We have the Stanley Cup Final. Still some stuff before we just turn everything over to the world of baseball. And we're going to find a way to work some golf stuff in here because maybe, just maybe, we can get your attention to last more than a day before you come back for five more bets in five minutes. And I've already stretched it. I understand it. I've already stretched your patience by putting NBA plays in, in some cases, and yes, yes, that BAM one that we did hit was two days in advance. Some cases, two days in advance. And, and I know that makes some of you uneasy. Like, I, I don't want to sit here for this long. All right, all right, all right. Start the clock, start the clock, start the clock. Start the clock! Jesus, that's just amazing. Every single time. Here we go. The clock is going. Total bases. I want to focus on this Braves. I want to focus specifically on this Braves matchup against Carlos Carrasco. Eddie Rosario is going to be the first guy to target, and then it's going to be Matt Olson to a lesser extent. Right away, over one and a half total bags for Eddie Rosario. He's done this at a great clip already. 38 at-bats, over 43 plate appearances. Nine Ks in that, but 13 total hits. He's definitely a threat to walk. I understand that, but he's put together you know, two doubles, three home runs. There are extra bases, five of the 13 extra bases alone. One swing has seemed to figure out in enough of a pattern developing data, at least. Something with Carlos Carrasco. Maybe it's the lineup. Maybe it's the game flow. Maybe it's just certain things that have fueled that. But you know what? Over time, Rosario has hit Carrasco. Not as much time, by any means, for Matt Olson. Limited compared to what we've seen with Rosario hitting 340 against Carrasco. But Matt Olson, now you look at the 12 at bats he's faced in Carrasco, five hits couple of extra bags, including two jacks, two doubles. Matt Olson is automatically a threat for two total bases every single game. He's going up against a pitcher where so far he's been comfortable, right? Like at the very least, the data so far, it's young, it's fresh, it's brand new. But, well, not to say like brand, brand new. It's just over time. It's not much. Small sample size, probably the best way to put it. All that shit for nothing. No, 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 no. Matt Olson. We'll go just, just over one and a half total bases here. We don't need to get crazy by any means. Let's get nuts. Let's head to the Odd Shopper Premium Tool. I've already done the work here for you. I've sorted by MLB. I've sorted by Caesars. That's where we are. And you'll see there are a couple of plus EV bets. Now, you can go Ben Attendee all you like. I'm going Kybert Ruiz. It is a 6% EV. It's beating the market. The true odds are plus 753. We have it. On Odd Shopper at plus 800 on Caesars. So let's go to that baseball game. See where that Arizona game is. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. And then we'll just jump on Kybert Ruiz to hit a home run. That's all. Did we miss it? Jeez. You know, I swear. There we go. Come on, folks. We're wasting valuable time. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, he's not here. Beautiful. Well, that always happens every now and again. And now you see why. Maybe he got pulled off the board as a result of that. Okay? That's fine. Oh, wait. No, I, I'm sorry. Jeez, you think I know how to use what I'm doing here before. There we go. Plus 800. That's three. That's three. All right. Now I am going to give you one in the NBA before we get out of here because I have two. And this one's going to be NBA material. So, NBA, let's go right to it. Game three, I know we'll take the two and a half. That's it. Just take the two and a half. Win the game, cover the spread. I get it. Two and a half points. It's craziness. It's, it's madness in Miami. Game three, when it's tied 1-1, just goes on to win the series. We know that. So, I'm jumping in on this right here, as you'll see, the last leg. Miami Heat, plus two and a half. Nothing crazy here. If you wanted to, you could sub that out and go under 214 and a half. Either work for me. I think plus two and a half at home would be my favorite play. All right. 
Speaking of which, we're going to give you one in the WNBA. Remind you that we cover this on the Discord. We do a bunch of different stuff throughout. So if you want more WNBA, check me out on Odd Shopper and the written stuff and on the Discord. So Sparks minus three and a half. This is just too short of a number taking on Seattle. Not really sure why Seattle is only getting three and a half. This should finish somewhere in that six to seven key point range. And LA is just playing significantly better. That's going to be no major injury that would limit them right now, as opposed to something that may be coming into this game we knew about. I don't necessarily buy the fact that this is a three and a half, four point line. I think the Sparks get this by six to seven points, and I'm fine adding this as our final play. All right. With all that nonsense going on, trying to find Cabra Ruiz, we still finished under the clock. So you're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Gave you the odd shot for premium tool. How about a week free? All right. There you go. Week free. This is key because this is going away. I'll give you the five and five in a second, but how about I give you the home run plays just across the board home run plays? It's Dinger Tuesday. All right. Let's get some home runs in there. Brett Batty, number one play. Actually, we have a couple that are plus nine EV. McLean. Yoshida, that's another one there. 8%, but Pasquatino, look at this. Pasquatino, and you can even hit him with the Heim if you like. You can go back right to the well and hit him with the freaking Heim if you want. Six. Well, technically five if you want to play on Dinger Tuesday. Seven if you're playing on points bet as well. Seven home run plays for you. And all I've asked is that you sign up for the Odd Shopper Premium Tool. And check us out today at 4 o'clock Eastern. That's not much. 